I would call the rhino a stubborn bulldozer while the Indian Gawa to me is a dangerous muscular beast. The rhino is known for his notorious bulldozing attacks, crushing anything that stands his way. Even dangerous apex predators know well to avoid this animal. The Indian Gawa, on the other hand, is a dangerous muscular beast that can stand its ground against any animal. What will happen when an adult rhino locks horns against an adult Indian Gawa? Before we continue, please make sure you subscribe to this channel for more entertaining videos like this and please don't forget to turn on this notification bell. Now let's start. The Rhino The rhinoceros, commonly called rhino, is found in different parts of the world. Their locations depends on the species in question. They can be found in Namibia, Sumatra, Coastal Africa, ETC, Batu Weaponry. It has the following features that can prove dangerous to the Indian Gawa. Size The average weight for an adult male ranges from 1,500 to 1,800 kilograms, with the female smaller at an average weight between 1,300 to 1,500 kilograms. Older males can get much larger, reaching at least 3,000 200 kilograms and occasionally weighing 4,500 kilograms. Males appear to continue growing throughout their lives. The white rhino, being the second largest land animal, can exceed 3,500 kilograms and have head and body length of 3.5 to 4.6 meters. Mouth White rhinos have a distinctive flat browed mouth, which is used for grazing. Rhinos have 24 to 34 teeth, mostly premolars and molars used for grinding. Horn The most obvious distinguishing characteristics of the rhinos is a large horn above the nose. The horn of rhinos is impregnated with keratin and is used for defense and can inflict dangerous harm to the gawa. All rhinos except the Indian rhino have two horns for which they are usually poached. The Gawa. The Indian Gawa, also known as the Indian Bison, is a bovine native to South and Southeast Asia. It is a big relative of cattle and the largest known white cattle. Battle weaponry. They have what it takes to face most predators in a fight. Now let's consider its combat features. Body size. It has a high ridge on the forehead between the horns and it also has a prominent ridge on the back, their body length being around 250 to 360 centimeters and they typically stand as high as 220 centimeters. The males are taller than females. They have big ears and smallish tails which average 70 to 100 centimeters. Males typically weigh close to 1,500 kilograms, while females being smaller and lighter weigh 700 to 1,000 kilograms physique and strength. They are the heaviest and most powerful of all white cattle. There are even cases of tigers being killed by the gawa. Any animal that can kill a full grown tiger would have a chance against the rhino. The males are extremely muscular and powerful, able to generate enough power to be deadly to predators, humans and other domestic cattle that are unfortunate enough to provoke them. Final verdict. What makes the gar much feared by man and beast alike is his aura of invincibility with his massive horns, heavy dewlap, and sinewy white stockinged legs. It's a powerhouse of energy and an impressive fearsome sight, more so when it raises its head in a show of alertness. A fight between those two animals would be quite a battle, but we think a rhino's aggressive behavior and horn strength would outclass the gar. Hence, we think the rhino has a 70% chance of winning. What do you think? You can air your thoughts in the comment section. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.